Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on for Scorpio in the next 48 hours? What can you expect? Okay, we're going to take a look at your energies. Message for Scorpio. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And I feel like you're trying to find some peaceful spots. You're trying to find some kind of peace. We also have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Hmm. And we have death. I am learning the endings are merely beginnings. Okay, so okay, this is what I'm getting, Scorpio. I feel like you're trying to really look for a peace. And you may also be growing. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. You're going through some growth and through some changes. Uh, with this death card, I feel like there's some kind of ending and new beginning coming forward for you this may be an ending and a new beginning in love but right now you're kind of focused on your peace you're kind of focused on your awareness okay um let's get some more messages for scorpio more messages for scorpio let's take a look at the tarot messages for scorpio next 48 hours okay the knight of pentacles I'm already kind of feeling like this is a love reading. The Two of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Or well, maybe it's finance. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. So here we go, Scorpio. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. So this is a lot of Pentacles for this reading. So I, I feel like this could be a love reading. But this could also be career and finance. Because of so many Pentacles in this reading. But I feel like. What you are really trying to gain is your stability. You're trying to find something solid, something grounded, something that is going to last, something that you can rely on. You know, I, I feel like you're looking for that person that's being honest and truthful, someone that you can really depend on in some kind of need. OK, um, with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this is that exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for that person who will stay put you know who will be dependable you're not looking for that runner that person that's always on the go you're looking for that stability that person is grounded you know and I, I feel like that's the new beginning that that you're like searching for you're trying to gain your peace in the situation uh, we have the two of pentacles so I feel like there is some kind of choice that needs to be made but i also feel like this is you kind of weighing your options in the situation you may be trying to decide between this knight of pentacles and this king of pentacles you know this king of pentacles he has it all he has everything he even has this bag of gold at his feet so the king of pentacles may be very wealthy you know, and he is also reliable. He is also dependable, very grounded, and he's solid and wise, you know, as in this Knight of Pentacles, he's grounded, but he's much younger. He's not as wise as the king. You know, he's just starting out. He's just coming into his own, but he's he's also very grounded. But he can be a little unpredictable to be because he works very hard. Okay? And we have this Ace of Wands. So I feel like something is sparking. Some kind of passion is being created. I feel like this is also the need to take action. 
to kind of put your put your passions into what the universe has to offer instead of really having to know the final destination okay kind of relying on the journey and not the finish line i hope that makes sense to you scorpio okay let's get a little bit of clarification let's clarify these cards a little bit if this is a career or finances reading i feel like there's someone who's very hard working that's helping you out uh, I do feel like there's choices that need to be made in this situation. But I feel like, you know, if this king, if this is your energy, I feel like you're you're really bounding on something that's going to be very uh, abundant, very beneficial. You're working on your wealth, okay? And I feel like you're taking inspiring action to gain more uh clarity on what you need to do with your investments or where where you invest your time okay uh, let's take a look spirit give me more of a message for this knight of pentacles tell me more about this knight the hermits the ace of wands we have the ace of wands twice hmm and we have the emperor okay Okay, so I, I feel like this knight, although this knight is young, this knight is gaining their wisdom. This knight is being led by maybe their past failures. But something is sparking interest. Something is driving them forward, kind of like a gift driving them. They have this, like this ignition switch that they always have on go. You know, and that's very odd for a Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles is like staying put. They're grounded. They're not moving very fast. They are taking, you know, very calculated steps. OK, but I feel like there's some kind of fire that is igniting with the Emperor card. I feel like there's there's like a passion to take to take control some kind of strategic planning um the emperor can also be a father figure so there may be a father figure in your life kind of pushing you towards some kind of inspired destination to gaining wisdom on your situation you may be getting advice or you may be you know getting help from like a father figure in the situation okay um, Spirit, tell me about this Two of Pentacles, please. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles again. Wow. You're weighing your choices. The Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance. Okay, I really feel like if this is love, I feel like you're focused on this Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is young and vibrant. They may be just beginning, but they're they're like working towards their abundance. They're like building on something that will last a very long time that may even last a lifetime. OK, so I feel like if you're weighing your choices, you are really looking at this Knight of Pentacles like, man, you are so appealing. You have, you're young, you're vibrant, you have a lot to offer. You may not have all the knowledge that you need to get to your destination, but you're working on it. You're hardworking and you're patient. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like with this temperance, I feel like if this is love, this Knight of Pentacles is really bringing some kind of balance, some harmony and happiness into your life. Um... And I feel like there's a lot of patience here. There's a lot of patience and like giving you time to grow or giving them time to grow. So I 
whatever this new beginning is, I feel like, wow, I feel like there's a lot of happiness that's available to you. There's a lot of happiness and abundance. If, like I said, if this is a work reading, there's a lot of abundance in your, in your forecast here because I feel like with this Ten of Pentacles and this Emperor and Temperance, you're like taking control of the situation. You're taking control of your destiny as far as your finances are concerned. You're on the right path to building up your abundance. Okay? Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. The Devil. Oh, the Death Guard. And the Empress. Wow. What's all shiny may not be gold. Wow. Okay, this King of Pentacles. If this is a person, this King of Pentacles. Maybe a Capricorn. But I feel like there's a lot of negative energy here. It may be due to negative energy surrounding this person or some kind of obsession. Kind of obsessing over some kind of situation. But we have the death card again. So there's definitely something ending and some, some kind of new beginning. With the Empress right here, I feel like with this Devil energy, the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles usually doesn't come around as controlling. That's usually the King of Wands energy. Um, but the King of Pentacles... I feel like... He may be obsessing over you. You, I see you as the empress. You could be male or female. But I'm seeing you as the empress. The, the empress is this beautiful being that's able to, you know, be fertile and manifest and nurture, give birth to new ideas and new um, people. You know, give birth. Birthing an idea, you know, giving birth literally. But I feel like there's some kind of control. There's some kind of obsession over the Empress. And I, I feel like that's causing an ending uh, to the situation. Or you could be transforming the situation. There's definitely some kind of ending here and some kind of new beginning. Um in this situation here, Scorpio. You have the curve that wanted to fall out. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay. There, there's some need for patience here. There's some need to be patient. You're kind of wondering if this is worth the effort, being patient in this situation. Maybe they're asking you to be patient. Um, to just keep waiting for something to happen. Like they're, It's almost like they're saying, you know, just wait, this is going to come through. Just wait, just wait, have faith in me. I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And they're kind of trying to get your, you to like stay in one spot so that they can finish this, that something that they may not be able to finish at all, but they're like having you waiting. I don't know what this is. Tell me more about this um, Ace of Wands. Maybe it will become clear. Tell me about this Ace of Wands energy. Okay, the, the Eight of Cups. I feel like there was something that you needed to release. The Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay. 
Okay, we're moving from the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So there's there's something that you're walking away from. There's something that you're walking away from because you feel like it's just too much to handle. It may be too free-spirited. You know, they might be some kind of person that is just not very well grounded. Uh, maybe they move from partner to partner. Um, but I feel like you're releasing this Knight of Wands energy. This Knight of Wands energy, sometimes they can come off as some kind of player. Some kind of, you know, free spirit to where they're like moving from person to person. Okay? Um, but this could also be some kind of inspired action that needs to be taken. But I feel like whatever this is, move, whatever this is that you're moving away from, that you're letting go of, you're like walking away from it and moving into a more happier, a more peaceful place. I feel like that's where this peace is coming in at. There's something that needs to be released so that you can move into this peaceful place, into this pe more peaceful destination and find your happiness, find your contentment. Look at this. You have the sun on the bottom. So definitely, definitely there there's something that needs to go so that you can have that peace of mind have that tranquility that you're searching for but there's definitely some kind of ending and some kind of new beginning it could be in love um it could be that you're leaving one job for another um take it how it resonates Okay, give me more messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Sun, moon, and rising next 48 hours. The fall, you're definitely going on a new journey. The sun again, beautiful. The hangman and the two, excuse me, the lovers. This whole bottom row is major arcana. So this whole bottom row is very important to the next 48 hours, okay? Um, at the bottom, we have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like there's something that you're building. There's something that you are collaborating with someone else to, like, bring this into reality, okay? Um, but you actually have some kind of team, some kind of help behind you. I'll put it that way. Okay, and we have the Fool and the Sun. So some kind of new journey, some kind of new destination. This is the new beginning that we were looking for. Um, after this ending that had to happen, this is the new beginning that's bringing you more happiness, more contentment. You're finding that peaceful place. You know, you may be finding more peace within yourself or with this Knight of Pentacles that seems so appealing, you know? Okay, with this uh, Hangman energy and the Lovers, I feel like there's a lot of things that become clear to you. You're like looking at love from a totally new perspective. And I feel like someone has brought you into that area. Whether it is this King of Pentacles who has finally come into the realization that... You know, they can't be obsessing over things. Or it's this Nine of Pentacles who is very appealing, very young and outgoing. Okay? So I feel like some kind of new perspective is coming through for you in love. And a lot of things are blossom, blossoming for you at the moment. So let's take a look at clarifying these cards. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this full card. What is this new journey? What is this new leap of faith that Scorpio will be taking? The Four of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Star card. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And I'm really feeling like this is your energy. I know this is not a water sign, but... The Pentacles, she's very stable. She's very secure. She's working on her resources. You know, she's she knows how to use her resources in a way that will take her further in life. Okay? Um, with the full card, we have the Four of Cups. So I feel like there's something that you're releasing. Some kind of overthinking that you're doing. And look, usually with the Four of Cups, he's holding this cup the universe is holding the cup in the cloud and they're like, 
not even paying attention to it. In this card here, he's releasing that fourth cup. He's like pouring out his emotions because maybe that cup is not exactly what he wanted. Okay, so I feel like after coming to the realization that something had to end, something that you no longer wanted, you kind of you're kind of pouring out this emotion. You're not overthinking the situation. Um, you're able to go on this new journey. And with the Eight of Pentacles, this Eight of Pentacles energy is, you know, kind of finding that enjoyment again. And whatever it is that you're doing, you're finding the enjoyment. And you may also be finding your healing, finding the balance. Okay? So you're feeling more renewed in your situation, um, having more faith. You know, everything is becoming more clear. So it's a really beautiful thing with this full card. Tell me about the sun card, Spirit. Tell me more about the sun. Okay, yeah, we have temperance. So yeah, you're definitely finding your balance. The wheel of fortune ooh, and the tower. Okay, at the bottom we have the ace of wands. Another gift from the universe, a spark of inspiration. Okay, okay, with the sun card we have balance, healing. Okay, finding harmony in your um, current position whatever position that may be you're finding that that self-control in a way because you're able to deal with the situation and i feel like with this will of fortune things are changing in a way that it's making a turning point it's like turning in your favor. And it may be changes that were very unexpected. Something happens very unexpectedly, but it's like a blessing in disguise. Look at this. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. So these are both cards of change. This one changes abruptly, but it's like a blessing in, a, in disguise. It can also represent freedom, like freeing yourself from some kind of tower that has no doors. You know, the only way out is for it to crumble and you to jump out of this tower. Okay? So the, this change needed to happen. It could be a blessing in disguise. The Wheel of Fortune is a turning point. Your, your luck changing. Good fortune coming around. So I feel like these changes are making a huge difference. And we have the Sun card right above it. So whatever the outcome is, you're happy with it. Okay? You're finding your contentment. You are finding your peace. So this tower is not a bad thing at all because the sun is right here. Okay? So th this tower is like freedom for you. Freedom from some kind of situation. Okay? With the um, hangman, we have the four of wands, the strength card. And the Five of Cups. So I feel like, you know, you're no longer focused on what you had to leave behind. With the Eight of Cups energy that we saw before, I feel like, you know, he's he's no longer focused on these cups that he had to leave. He's focused on these two cups behind him, whatever's left. So the, the underlying meaning of the five of cups is to be grateful for the things that are still in your life to be grateful for the things that are still there um, these things that were lost are no longer important the things that are behind you that are left have become more important okay so interesting so with the this awareness, with this change in perspective, you're able to find your happiness. There may be some kind of reunion, some kind of celebrations that you're going through. But I feel like you're you're strong, you're capable, you're fully aware of you know your destination and where you're going. You are courageous and fearless. Okay? And you are grateful for the things that you have in your life that you find as important beautiful energy scorpio okay let's take a look at this lover's card 
Tell me more about this lovers, please. Give me a message for the lovers. For Scorpio. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so we have the devil, the death card, and the empress. Now, isn't that interesting that we found that same combination with the king of pentacles? And I swear I shuffled. Okay, the same combination with the lovers and the king of pentacles. Same exact combination. Wow. Okay, so there, there's... You know what, uh, Scorpio? What I'm feeling like is with the lovers... Okay, here's the deal. The lovers, the devil, the death, and the empress. Exactly what I'm getting from this, Scorpio, is that you're repeating the same cycle over and over again in love. You're not moving away from that cycle. You are finding yourself with the same kind of people, the same kind of um, situations over and over and over. So with this devil and this death card in the Empress, it's time, beautiful Scorpio, to end this cycle. To end the cycle. Change up the way you see about love. And I'm going to tell you, um, maybe read some books about healing. Maybe go to physical counseling and see why it is that this cycle is constantly repeating. Because there's some kind of cycle that you're going through in love to where you feel like you're attracting the same sort of person over and over. And the outcome is the same over and over. Okay? So something needs to change. Scorpio, we have the high priestess at the bottom. You need to trust yourself, trust your intuition that you don't go through this cycle each and every time, every time you're in a situation with love. Okay? Um, let's see. I'm going to get an angel card for Scorpio. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know in order to end this cycle of negativity and love? What does Scorpio need to know to end this cycle? Okay, we have prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. So be clear on the people that you're bringing into your life. Be clear of who you are attracting. We also have increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. So when you see that, when you feel that same type of person in your life, run. <laughs> run, Scorpio. Okay? Um, we have devotion. So trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So Spirit is letting you know how important you are and how strong you are. Uh, focus on your intentions, on what intentions you're setting, okay? Okay, let's get some monology cards for Scorpio. What moonology do we have for Scorpio? You are good enough. You have all the qualities that someone will love. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. And we have look at the bigger picture. So when you come into this realization, Scorpio, 
take a look at a person for who they are. Be open, be wise, be, you know, observant so that you don't fall into the same cycle over and over again. Okay? At the bottom we have bring love into the situation. Love yourself enough not to fall into the same trap. Okay, that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I really hope this helps. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, I have the February readings in a playlist, so feel free to take a look at the February readings. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Maybe that will give you more messages and things will become more clear. Okay, until your next reading, Scorpio, many blessings to you, love and light.